Hello, today I will be demonstrating how solar panels work and uh, inside of this bag there are a few solar panels that can be used to charge small devices and also can be used to charge this power bank. These are 60 watts solar panels and they can be sold together with this power bank or separately. Let's see what's inside. So we have inside instructions, a cable used to charge the power bank that I've just shown, different adapters to adapt that cable to other devices, and some climbing hooks that can be used to hang the solar panels to the trees or some other structures. And in the same compartment we have this adapter here which lets the energy come from the solar panels to the sockets where you can plug your USB cables. Two regular USB cables, one C-type cable and the socket to charge the power bank. So this bag is pretty comfortable to carry and when you need to deploy the solar panels you just open them up There are velcro straps and this is how you open this bag and you have here several solar panels connected to each other and the energy from the solar panels goes to the adapter inside of this compartment here. Once the solar panels start getting sunlight, you will see this adapter LED light up. Now it's lighting up. As you can see, we don't have much sun, but it's just daylight coming into the room and it has lighted up. But the energy will be enough to charge your devices. The instructions say you need to get the sunlight, the direct sunlight, hit the solar panels at 90 degrees to get the maximum of the energy generation. But now we can check how much energy is generated in the daylight. To do that, we'll connect the solar panels to our power bank, which shows the input, and see how much watts are being generated. And then we will demonstrate how these solar panels work in real conditions outside. This is the cable we used to connect the solar panel with the power bank. And this is the power bank that we're going to connect it to. And if you check the plugs, they look very similar. To charge this power bank, you have to connect these cables. And both ends can be inserted. But it doesn't mean that you would be able to charge it. On the other hand, both ends cannot go into this adapter. And this is the black one. This one would not enter. You can do it. So that's something to keep in mind. To understand which end goes to which part is to open the power bank's adapter as well and to see what plug it's using. So this plug looks exactly the same as this one, so this one will go into the power bank. Now I'm connecting the cable and let's see if any power is being generated. This power bank is good because it's showing how much input it's getting. So I'm putting it in and it turned on. Let me check if we have the light on. Yes, we have the light is on. As you can see, this LED is on, but it doesn't mean that you have enough power to charge the power bank or to generate any input. Now let's check another device. 
which is a battery charger which can work with the USB cable and try to plug it in. So imagine there could be another device which is using also a USB cable and you want to charge it. You see nothing is happening. Let's open another panel. We are covering two panels now. And you see once I opened two panels there is some input. But it's not enough. The battery charger is not able to turn on. It's just intermittently turning on the screen and it means that the power is not enough. Don't forget we're in the daylight in a room. No direct sunlight here. So now we're outside. I just randomly put the solar panels on the ground. Normally I should put the solar panels in such a position at which the sunlight would hit the solar panels at 90 degrees. That would be the most efficient position at which the solar panels would generate the most amount of energy. But let's just check what's happening if I just put it on the ground. In order to see how much energy is generated, we will connect the solar panels to the power bank because this power bank can indicate the input it's getting. Now the power bank is connected and let's check how much power is being generated now. Now here we can see it's 22 watts. Now let's change the position of the panels and see how the indicator here changes. Now I've changed the angle of the solar panels a little bit. Some of them have their surfaces now pointing to the sun at about 45 degrees and we can see that this indicator here has changed. It's now showing more, 28 watts. This amount of energy would be enough to start charging your cell phones. Let's also see what happens if there is shadow on the surface of the solar panel. How much would the energy generation drop? So now I'm covering around 50% of the surface of the solar panels and we have only 7 watts generated. So as you can see in the shadow the solar panels would not work. As you can see I'm using this power bank together with the solar panels and they're usually sold together. Why is that? The sun is always moving and you can have your solar panels always moving towards the sun. So sometimes the solar panels will generate more power or less power depending on the position. For this exact reason it is advised to use some kind of a battery together with the solar panels. In the end this power bank is a bunch of batteries put up together that allow to store energy. If you use solar panels without a power bank and without any device that would indicate how much power is generated it would be difficult for you to know when you can charge your devices quickly. You may not know at what rate the energy is generated. For example, as previously I've shown you that the battery charger would not work although the LED indicator on the solar panels would light up. In this case it's also light up but you can see that the power generation is pretty good right now and it's charging my power bank. But what if you don't have this power bank? How do you know if you have enough energy to charge your devices. So in this situation the most efficient way to use your solar panels is in combination with a power bank which would store the energy during the day and would be charged by the solar panel as it is happening right now. At this rate it's almost charging at the same rate as if you would connect it to a power outlet at home. The power outlet at home would charge this power bank at 35-40 watts rate. And at this energy generation rate you actually would charge this power bank pretty quickly. At 35-40 watts power charging rate from the home power outlet you get around 1% of the battery charge per one minute. Let's just disconnect now this power bank and try to use just the battery charger directly connected to the solar panels and see how it works. And now I have connected uh, my battery charger to the solar panels. 
on the camera it looks like it's blinking but I can see that it's stable the screen is showing the charging data and uh, it's working so as you can see the devices can be connected directly to the solar panels to be charged or another way would be to connect first of all the power bank to the solar panels and let the solar panels charge the power bank and then connect a device you want to charge to the power bank so that the power bank charges your device while being charged from the solar panels this way you would accumulate solar energy in a more efficient way and would have more power ready to be used when there's no sun